Welcome back. All right, if you need a unique gift or an idea, to, you know, we want you to shop local. There's a place in yeah. Bristol that you have to check out. Yeah, love shopping local. Marcy Jones is there live this morning to show us why. Marcy, where are you today? <laughs> So Hi there, we're at the Bristol Bazaar. I'm so excited. This is a place that I've wanted to visit. Now I'm here. It's a dream come true. And I am a kid, literally in a candy store. Right now, their seasonal theme is Candyland. They've done an incredible job. I am here with one of the halves of this power team behind it. Care, good morning. Good morning. So tell us about the Bristol Bazaar. For anybody who's not familiar, hasn't visited you yet, what is it all about? So we are an indoor makers market. We're open year round, six days a week, 65 hours a week. We are here ready to go, fully stocked with tons of handmade items from yep. makers. Currently, I can say from Connecticut and beyond, which so is really cool. exciting. So yeah. we've got a ton of items here that range from 3D printing to jewelry, soaps, clothes, and more. Uh, we yep. have tons of events going on here all the time, and we have our coffee cocktail lounge, Yellow King Brews, too. It sounds like you could never get bored at work. <laughs> the variety is out of this world, plus, you, you, like you said, you have so many options. You could grab a bite right next door. You've got the brewery. This is It's so cool in here. So tell us about why you've picked the artists that you have or how they come to you, and if we've got somebody at home who's a creative type and wants to get in on the action, how does that work? Absolutely. So a lot of folks have found us through social media. Um, they can apply right on our website. There's a makers tab right at the top. You okay. can see all the benefits of vending with us and then the applications right at the bottom. I love it. Okay, so do you have a booth here or is this just vendors only right now? We do with our first business. No way. Yeah, it's called Dusty Dude Woodwork. Okay. So we do have a table here that is fully stocked with beautiful things, but yep. we do have uh, over 50 other vendors that are here at the same time. Amazing. And how often are we switching out vendors or adding them? Every month. So okay. every month on the first of the month, you'll see new vendors come in, some makers move out, and some hang with us for the long term. Excellent. We're going to go hang with some makers right now. We've got Hugh over here. Hugh, don't scurry away from me. Come on. How are you? Good. We just met and you're already running away, <laughs> reminding me of my ex-boyfriend. All right, let's go check out your booth over here. This is really beautiful. I'm already loving all the colors. That's very kind. Um, Tell us about your artwork. In short, it's 16th century Japanese art that was used by the samurai back in the day to get them informed about nature other than just martial arts. And so during COVID 2019, you know, we all locked into something to keep busy. And of course. I was fortunate enough to fall into this. And the timing was just perfect with care you and You just Eric. fell into 16th century samurai art? Well, what a thing to COVID fall. was a long... I know. Dude, long don't push. have to tell me twice. I know. And so um, so this is the end result. Um, it's I'm a, a chef by trade. It's so. a beautiful... You're a chef by trade? Yeah. So when you're working with composition on plates, this was a natural transition using flowers yep. and fruit and... Basically. I'm just so blown away by your creativity, your colors. You. Guys, come visit. Hugh here at the Bristol Bazaar. We're going to be back in just a little bit with so much more to see. Remarkable place. A remarkable place. I love, I love that. I love it. I love handcrafted stuff. Wonderful. Right. Who's